So, so far today, we've talked about how the dynamics that make each of us who we are, and we walk into every setting with those things that are seen, unseen, and things that people make assumptions about. But now let's take that a little bit further and look at how those things come into play in our interactions with those who we serve and work shoulder to shoulder with. There are times where individuals that we serve may feel that me as a leader, I don't value them or I have a bias toward them because of some dynamic that makes them who they are as a person. And it's interesting because this summer, August 2017, Harvard Business Review published yeah. an article. So okay. if you take a look at the research, basically what they did is they looked at individuals within an organization and the way those individuals identify, whether it's white, women, flex workers, LGBTQ members, men, black, Hispanic, they looked at these individuals and they asked them, how do you view your supervisor's perception of your ability on several different mm. indicators? Those ag indicators were ability, ambition, commitment, connections, their emotional intelligence, and their executive presence. Wow. And so, Eric, what did the results of that research um, show? Well, it's interesting because I'm just going to read the title for you. Okay. Everybody has access to this in the presentation. It says, people of color, employees with disabilities, and those born outside the U.S. are most likely to perceive bias at work. And so the screen that you're looking at now also has the graph from that research on it. And the way that the graph reads is, for example, the darker the blue area, the higher the percentage of individuals within that group perceiving bias at work. So for example, those who are LGBTQ, as far as emotional intelligence, a higher percentage of individuals who are LGBTQ feel they perceive that there's a bias by their supervisors about their performance within that area. And so you see this throughout the graph. So again, the research here is saying that individuals within certain groups perceive that their supervisors, their leaders, don't view them as being able to have characteristics needed for leadership positions within that organization. Wow, this is um, some really interesting research and um, worth taking some time just to look at it again because even though um, it's perceptions, um, and we know that perceptions are a person's realities. For whatever reason, um, people of color, employees with disabilities, and those born outside the U.S., they're perceiving this, which really speaks to the importance of our work with cultural proficiency. Right. So if we think about that, we take it and connect it to what we've done so far today in this session. There are times where individuals who may fall into certain groups they may feel like they have to deny or not express or share an aspect of who they are because of prior experiences they believe that the perception that those around them will have on, on, of, of them is going to be negative. And there are some negative impacts with that. Exactly. Yeah. And there are individuals who cannot hide aspects of who they are. So they have to work and navigate through a system in which they view or feel that others perceive them as not being able to assume certain responsibilities or roles, whether that's subconscious or conscious on the part of the supervisor or leader. So as we go through the next portion of mm -hmm. our time together in this session, we're going to look at, take a look at some of the research and what it says the impact is on individuals who view their supervisors and leaders as being biased toward them. Let's take some time to dig a little deeper into it. Okay. Why don't you do the same?